Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of I Think I'm Human 2. We have Raphael with us. We Raphael. are going... Oh, Raphael. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Let's get, it. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's get the juices flowing. Okay, so if you Let's listened to last week's episode, I did an episode on cutting out alcohol and just kind of why I chose to, the steps that I took, advice. And I just wanted to do an episode with you kind of just to explain what it looks like from another party. So like if you're in a partnership and your partner does or doesn't drink and you do or don't drink, like if it goes opposite... It can be tough and it can be challenging, especially if you guys were a couple that really enjoyed alcohol and your life was based around alcohol, meaning like your guys' free time you go to dinner and you have drinks, your guys' free time you try out new bars, new breweries, whatever the case may be, Yeah, um, it can be tough. It can be tough to find new things to do and to build that partnership without alcohol and to still have a relationship and a friendship um, with different hobbies. So Raphael and I are just going to talk about kind of like what we've done. Um, and obviously like, well, I won't say obviously, but Raphael and I to begin with weren't really big like partiers. Like when we first got in our relationship, that was not who we were. So like you wouldn't really see us at a club or at a bar. Like, well, one COVID was a really big deter. Like we couldn't do any of that stuff. (laughs) So COVID really ultimately helped us um, build a relationship outside of drinking. Um, We found other things to do. We would go for drives. We would go for hikes. We would go for just cookies. Like you couldn't really do much. So we found a lot of things to do there. So I definitely think that was helpful in our relationship outside of alcohol. Because like when we first met years ago as just friends, like we would meet out at a bar in a restaurant, you know what I mean? And we would have a drink. So I don't know. I think that was definitely helpful for us that we automatically right off the dating bat learned how to do things that didn't involve. That didn't involve drinking. That didn't involve drinking. (laughs) So, okay. So I, and I will say like, I had this couple back in the day that I was like, they were friends to my friends and the girl did not drink at all, but the guy was a heavy drinker and he would like, he respected that she didn't drink, but then he would get drunk and he would like make fun of her for not drinking. And I definitely feel like if Raphael were like that, it would be a lot harder because well, one that's like tough, if your partner's like making fun of you, it's like, oh, okay. Um, So I I definitely think that this, if this is someone, if you're listening and that's your relationship where one person isn't a drinker and the other one like low-key bullies you or harasses you for it, I definitely think that that's that's very tough. I don't know. I don't know what that would look like. You've been very supportive of me just like not drinking. It was just kind of like it fizzled and then became like really real and then here we are. Yeah, here we are. Seriously. I almost feel like it's harder for me than it is for you. Yeah, you just like cold turkey it, kind of like. Yeah. Dry December with Anissa. <laughs> okay, we had to kick the girls out because they were just going to keep going. And they're rowdy. They get rowdy. So rowdy they can take a couple minutes to nap. Okay. Um, I honestly feel like it was almost probably, it's probably harder for me to not drink than it is for you to be with someone who not drinks or to be with someone who drinks. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Meaning like it's harder for me because I'm like. Like, you still have fun without me having a drink because I'm fun without alcohol. (laughs) But. Oh, oh gosh. Pat on the back. Gold star. Yeah. But, like, for me, I get, like, annoyed of being out. Look, he's here. The Cardinal. I don't want to see him. Um, Probably didn't come to the window yet. He probably will, honestly. You may make an appearance. But, like, me, say we're out with, like, friends and everyone's drinking and Raphael's, like, enjoying himself. I'll be like, okay, like, I'm tired. I want to go. Like. No, I would be. I'd be the same way. You are, yeah. Actually, you are. Yeah. So it's probably it's just easy for us, I guess. Yeah. And now, if I do drink, I, I choose a healthier option. You know what I'm saying? No. Like, yeah, no, no. There's definitely, there's definitely healthier options to drinking. That's a real thing. Please elaborate. What is your healthy choice? A glass of red wine. I think the doctor said <sighs> one glass a day keeps the doctor away. They say that about everything, and I'm pretty sure they say that about apples and red wine. <laughs> Did you know that the color of the app or the color of wine actually doesn't come from like it being a red grape or a green grape? Is it the the blood off of their feet from stomping on the grapes? 
Please tell me you're kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. What is it then? How are you sitting like that? This is how I have to sit. <laughs> this chair is like got me in a spot. This thing doesn't like extend far enough. It's only meant for a little person like you, a little five five, little shrimp. I'm a big dog. Oh. I need a bigger Anyways. chair. Okay, so Raphael did convert to red wine, but he loves a good convert. old fashioned. Oh. You like a good old fashioned though. I do like a good old fashioned. I try not to. But when I'm at home, you know, I got these new glasses. Catherine wouldn't let me get the nice big glasses for a while. So I finally he wants convinced crate her. crate and we... barrel wine glasses that are like we caught... $10 a glass. But we caught some on uh, on sale at, where were we? TJ home... Maxx. Home TJ... Goods. You're home right. Home Goods or something like that. So I got, I, I won. We both won, really. But he got a four pack for $9.99. And they're nice. They're beautiful. They're nice. They're crate and... Uh, Oh, uh, what's the what's the what's the barrel that your dad had with the two wheels on the back and then the barrel? Crate and wheel barrel. Crate and wheel barrel. Yeah, they not really crate and barrel. My wine glasses, but they more like <laughs> crate and wheel barrel. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> they definitely it, they definitely do the job. They hold like half a glass, half a bottle of wine in it. I think. Really? Uh, not that I would know, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I heard, I heard from I heard. a Reddit page. Yeah, not from the Reddit page. What oh, are you gosh. doing on Reddit? Right, all bad. <laughs> it's all bad. All bad. Anyways, okay. So, do you have any like, say, if someone's partner was looking to stop drinking, okay. what is a way that you could encourage them? Like, how how did you support me and encourage me from your perspective? Um, I always been a person of like, quote unquote, like healthy in a sense of like. Working out, staying active, yeah. understand that you have to eat right, like not every single, you know, day and meal, but like you try to watch your consumption of different things. So um, drinking, I feel like, you know, same thing. I, it just transferred over of, hey, you're looking to live a healthier lifestyle and cut calories and and this, that and the third. So it's like, why would I not support that? And um, it, it was pretty simple for me in that sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, for someone else, maybe they could look at it totally different ways. I don't know. For me, that's kind of how it played out in my mind. I don't know. But we're here today. Me and my my, my beautiful glasses I got. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys one day, actually. Baby. Now, let's flip I it. couldn't even listen to you because of how awkward you're sitting. Just sit normal. I have your mic all the way up, so you don't have to, you don't have to be, like, right in it. Oh, good, because my neck's starting to burn. I know. I can tell. It looks it's like it sweaty. hurts. It's hot in here. No, it's not. You love just everybody. The house is on 80. No, and it's okay. 105 so women's degrees core outside. temperature runs oh, gosh. hotter. I saw this on TikTok. <laughs> I saw this on TikTok. Women's core runs hotter. It men's extravagance runs deeper. I don't what the shit hot. <laughs> it's hot as hell in this house. It's 100 degrees outside, y'all, and the thermostat say 82. No, it doesn't. It said it's 70 degrees, and it's 70 degrees in here. But it's 105 outside. Okay, go outside if you want to be in 105, but inside it says 70. <laughs> Can we get back to the topic? This yes. is why this is... No, 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 back to the topic. No more banter. Okay. So supporting cool is finding okay. you do not have to sit and... Okay, my neck is sweating. Okay. <laughs> I'm so serious, and you know I am. Your touch is showing. Anyways. Um, <laughs> okay. So supporting by just like thinking of the fact that it's healthier lifestyle. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but if but when we were in drinking environments, what was ways that you were trying to make me feel more comfortable? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm not really good at that because I'm the person that like with food, anything, if I see you don't have it and I have it in front of me, I'm going to continue to offer it to you. Over. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is. Like. Remember your family was allergic to like all the nuts in the world and, and I'd have butter pecan ice cream and be like, hey, you want some? I say it every single day and I always forget, but I'm just like always trying to share. But he really is. I'm no good at that because when I get a drink, I'm like, hey, babe, you want to taste? You want, a little, you want a little sip at the top? Yeah, he still does. Yeah, and I'm like, so, no, it's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm no good at that one, but I, I'm working on it. I won't offer you anything to drink. He's even asked my pregnant friend if she wanted a drink. <laughs> And then he goes, oh, shit. <laughs> that wasn't one of my greatest moments. It 
it's fine. She was old enough and smart enough and coherent enough to, to say, say no. no. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, man. Do you, do you ever foresee yourself going alcohol free now that I've gone? Absolutely. I think I can do it. I think that uh, after I get past my stage of red wine, even though it's supposed to be healthier. It's not supposed to be healthy. Healthier. No, it's supposed to be healthy to have one glass of red wine. That's what I heard. On TikTok or where? No, no. This was a long time ago. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> and I think that is acceptable. Okay, no, never mind. No, I think I am going to stop. Eventually. Really? Eventually, What makes yeah, you want I mean, to? Well, one, I, stop, I really stop with beer because the bloating and the calories is just like... And then you try to work out at the same time. You're just like... Yeah, what's the point? Even it's what's the beer? yeah, what's the the point of working out? And then it's like the liquor, the hard liquor is still filled with calories or the chaser, yeah, and you would right? feel like shit after that. Yeah, and then the next day, yeah, and as you get older, it's just like less less drinks is like still a hangover for you. I don't yeah. know how, but at least I would be me. at like one drink and I would still get a hangover really yeah, bad. Yeah, for sure. So I would always get told that by my friends that I had like back in the day that were older than me. I was like, yeah, right. Oh, excuse me and they would be like when i turned 25 i'm like shut up no literally when i turned 25 i got hit with a brick yeah. of hangovers yeah what was your question to me if you would ever go alcohol free yeah yeah i feel like i answered that pretty good yeah. do you feel like you have to just because i did um uh, yeah kind of really i guess i want to overly choose it because like i don't one i don't have a problem with drinking Usually people say that when they have a problem with drinking. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> man, oh man, this is a good one. Shout out to Santino who's gonna have to chop this up. Sorry, brother. Um where was I? Um, no, I I personally feel like I would stop because you stopped. I wouldn't choose to like completely stop. Like like a few weeks go by and I don't have a drink, it's totally fine. I don't wanna have to like think twice like, oh, I wasn't supposed to drink. Like, I don't have it. Yeah, drink. like, if you want one, you, you know want what I'm one. If I want one, I want one. If I don't, yeah. I don't. And I'm fine without yeah. one kind of thing. I definitely will say you've cut back a lot just yeah, because sure. naturally. One thing I will yeah. say is the money we have been saving is crazy. Like, if you guys are really tight for money, and I mean, like, you know, they say, like, oh, skip your Starbucks and you'll be fine. Like, I don't nah. believe in that. Six dollars is not going to make or break your bank. Like, tell them to go out to eat. And then look at yes, your bill but if without drinking. you are drinking. a goer out to eater and you are a drinker while you go out to eat, yep. notice the difference when you don't drink. Yep. It's crazy. Do it for like three nights or a week or like a month if you can. Raphael's like a month. and I's dinners would like what? Between $100 and $200? I don't know. I don't and know. now they're like 40 bucks max. Isn't yeah, that some crazy? Some places drinks are more expensive, but yeah. Yeah, we were... Cause, and like that was the thing. We drink... Like, like you said, we don't drink beer. So I would drink back in Minnesota, espresso martinis are $19. Old fashions are $19. So if each of you guys are getting two drinks, you're yeah. right there is $80. Yeah. And then if you're getting meals, like uh, you're over, yeah. yeah, you're over $100 with tip, you're close to two. Yeah. And yeah. we were eating out quite a lot too. So it's like, and we like fancier restaurants. That's just who we are. We've always liked healthier, but like still good meals i don't know how to explain it like pasta we love a good pasta we love a good burger but not like a fast food pasta or a fast food burger like we like, like higher end I stuff like steak steak why he just say it like that because i like steak. steak steak i like steak do you have any questions for me coming from somebody who still is drinking um does it make you feel awkward when we're out and i'm drinking and you're not drinking no, but one thing I will say that has changed me is even when you've had one to two drinks, especially as a female, not saying you're drunk, but you got that little buzz that's taken the edge off. I don't, you don't notice as much. Now when I'm sober and he's had a drink and is driving, it freaks me out. Even though I know he's fine and it's literally only one drink and it's totally, he's literally still legally able to drive. I get paranoid because I'm completely sober Yeah. where I'm like, I feel like I'm like, wait, how like, and then on the roads, I'll notice everybody swerving. Like I'm just way more cognizant of drinking and driving now um, versus like back when I was even just like a little buzzed or it just didn't matter to me because yeah. I was like, well, what am yeah. I going to do? I'm not going to drive. Like, yeah. 
um and that was one thing like i will say is we've never been big drinkers when we're out like we have had like max two and then well unless i like to be with it yeah rafael's always been like two and done if he was driving and like with me and i knew we were all safe like I would drink more, um, but I will say now that I'm like completely, completely sober when we're out, I just am way more cognizant of drunk people, and I it was freaks about to say the drunk people, even like in the bar or like yeah, in the establishment. Those don't bother me as much, um, as long as they're not being ratchet. Sure. Yeah, but it's more just like driving, and I really like, especially now, like the older we've gotten, and I just have this weird thought in my head, like if we weren't to come home one night. And our girls were to be locked up and we have no one in Texas to like know that they're here. That freaks me out beyond all belief. So that would definitely be like a deterrent. Um, I don't know. Just it, I've just been way more cognizant of um, drunk drivers. I'm like, like if I were to get taken out by a drunk driver, I would be so pissed. That would be honestly one of the most <laughs> like I would come find them and haunt them for the rest of their lives. Like Absolutely. drunk drivers just piss me off on especially the ones yeah. that like kill it's a very, other people. It's a very selfish thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it just it just gets me so heated. <laughs> yeah, you just juiced up for a second for that. Cause I hate it. Yeah. Anyways, what else do you got? Other than that, no, like I said in my first episode, I love a great Diet Coke. I love um mocktails every once in a while. Honestly, I'm good with water though. Like I'll be happy with the water. Water's so fire. Water's so good. People that say that so water's wait, say gross. Water. Say it. Water. Water. How, how do you say it? Water. 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 Water? Water. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What would you be your drink of choice if you were alcohol free? Ooh, alcohol free drink of choice. Um <clears throat> we were at the nail place today and they said something about a tequila sunrise or something, but I was like, ooh, without the tequila would be kind of be kind of good it'd be sugary and sweet as hell but like yeah the and then what's flavor the point on that? that yeah what's the point but like the flavor or what if you did like a shirley temple it's like an old school drink i don't even know what's in that again cranberry and like sprite or something yeah no it's not cranberry it's uh, oh bars are coming out what is it it's cherries cherries okay does it bother you when the other partner is drunk or tipsy um well i this know how to answer for me, this technically oh t- okay go ahead because i know how to answer this one for me he doesn't get drunk or tipsy but when you like when you get tipsy it's fine when you get drunk which is very few and far in between you sleep in the middle of the bed and you <laughs> do not move like you won't move for anything i also call everyone and tell them how much i love them yeah that too <laughs> or you'll go down memory lane with things you'll call them and go down memory lane and yeah. <laughs> Is that a problem? The one time I was buzzed, I begged for Wendy's. I don't beg for anything. I'm <laughs> going to be completely honest, everybody. I won't even ask her to pass me a napkin. She, obviously, she'll do it, but like, I, don't, I just don't like asking for things. So like, I was begging for Wendy's one night, and that's when she knew, like, all right, he's pretty buzzed. <laughs> and I was trying I was to skip like, Wendy's. Please. And you were trying to skip it. I was like, listen, please. Because, okay, so it was his birthday and I, su- bacon cheese I surprised him with having no his tomatoes. friends. I surprised him with having his friends fly in and we all went to the Laker game together and it was so fun. And uh, Raphael and I both got drunk that night. Wasn't I drinking too? Um, I think maybe I had two glasses of wine. Yeah. yeah um, Haley was driving us. Yeah. yeah. Haley drove yeah, and he was trying to convince Haley to stop at wendy's and i was like i'm not a drunk eater that is one thing about me as i literally just want to go that's how you sober up that's how you get it soaked up but me i've just never had the habit of wanting to eat when i'm drunk i literally just want to go to sleep yeah so i was like no let's skip granted i wasn't even drunk i was just annoyed that they needed to eat and then (laughs) i was like i never asked for nothing you know you you just want to get home and just be on your schedule yeah, leave it's when me. you want to leave and get home. Yeah, but no, it was my buzzness that needed it. Okay, does it from uh, like the other side? Is it frustrating being with someone who's sober when you want to just drink and have fun? No, no. i for at least for me, no. I don't mind because we can still have fun with me having a glass and then yeah, not drinking. I mean, 
I definitely think like when we, I don't want to ever say like I'm never drinking again. And in my first episode of this, I explained like there's a major difference between somebody who is sober and like needing to be sober because they're an alcoholic and somebody who's just chosen to go alcohol free. Like that's a totally different type. And I never want to say I'll never have a drink again. I just genuinely don't enjoy it. So it's like, I don't even like crave them anymore, but I never want to say like, if we're out in Paris this coming yeah, fall, thanks. like I'm not going to have an espresso martini or I'm not going to drink a glass of wine. Like I will say like, and again, I said this in the first episode, I miss the feeling of being buzzed, especially being buzzed with like the love of your life. It's just so fun. Like you're fucking cute. Sorry. That was very aggressive. <coughs> Bless you. Sorry. We're even because a little very bit of that aggressive. juice hit me. So <laughs> we're even now. I didn't cover my nose. My bad. Uh, yeah. Or your mouth. Animal. anyways an animal. <laughs> not the animal um so i will say like i do miss that because especially like when we're traveling and it's just us we have no responsibilities it is so fun to be a little buzz go back to the hotel room have a little fun yeah. and you know just enjoy the night like that's just so fun yeah. but or or like and when we say go go back to the hotel and have fun being completely honest going uber eats and see if we can get desserts or some food. I met a little freaky deaky. He knew what I meant, though. Oh, okay. That, too. But, <laughs> but we are. The, you know we order, don't. We are don't. more of an Uber Eats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Um, I'm dead. D-E-D. Dead. I definitely think. I can't believe I'm yawning so much. I definitely think being the person who stopped drinking, it's probably harder for me than it is for him. But again, like I said, if you're in that relationship where your partner is pressuring you or kind of harassing you slash bullying you into drinking, that's a conver- that's a totally different conversation. Um, I consider us to be bullying. A- Who's bullying somebody to drink? A lot of people. That's weird. That's weird energy. I agree, but some people are in those relationships. It's- like allowing, don't don't allow nobody to bully you to do anything in this world. Obviously, it happens. I'm just saying. I mean, it's easier said than done with something. Absolutely, that's so, very true. That's very true. But you call you call cousin, uncle, big Raffy. I'm gonna come handle that. I will say, if you are in those kind of relationships, um, I just think that's that's bigger fr- fish to fry, and you might not be with your person, yeah, um, yeah, because absolutely. I feel like we support each other in pretty much everything that we do. That's in a positive manner, um. Uh, there are some nights like Raphael likes to drink at home and like he just loves like a glass of wine and sometimes I'm like now that I'm so removed from drinking I'm like what a waste of calories like why are you doing that (laughs) facts um but past that like I don't know I just I feel for you if you are in one of those relationships where you can't not do something you can't do something just because your person will harass you or bully you or make you feel less than for wanting to better your life um and there are people out there that are like that so i definitely think if if you're experiencing that then um you got some things to think about but if you are wanting to cut alcohol and um you didn't listen to part one i will just once again say just set your boundaries let everybody know that you're wanting to test um the alcohol free life and that's it just find your drink of choice whether it be a diet coke a water with a lemon some people love sprite with a lime like let them know about the fr- the free fray fray free yeah fray or free is a wine brand they have alcohol free wine they have yeah. alcohol free champagne there's so many different options out there for people yeah, now a lot of options um so you can still feel included without having to have the alcohol but like i will say percent beer like yeah but I, but a lot of it is still sugar too. So True. sometimes the hangovers are actually sugar. Your sugar intake was so spiked. Yep. So I will say try to find options that are lower in sugars um, to just help you feel a little bit better. So yeah. I will see you guys next week. Thanks for tuning in and deuces. Goodbye. Later, y'all. Peace.